Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In last session, we discussed about how to install operating system to our VMware ESXi based virtual machine. Now, we need to understand about the another option which is available in virtual machine like uh, uh, the use of VMware tool, how we can create a snapshot for virtual machine, adding additional hard drive to VM and how to configure the networking for an individual virtual machine. So, let's start. Uh, try to understand about the concept of VMware tool and all services and we'll also discuss about the procedure how to manage the virtual machine over ESXi 7.0. So let's start. Uh, before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so you can subscribe my Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel because uh, Teach Me Cloud is a single YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical without skipping any step. So uh, this is our ESXi and uh, the ESXi IP address is 192.168.1.10 and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to access our uh, ESXi with the help of browser. You know that after 7.0, after 6.0, we have only one option to connect our virtual machine with the help of web client only, right? So just type the IP address, private IP address of your ESXi on any browser and uh, use your credential that you used while installation of ESXi and access the GUI panel. So right now we are on page of web client and uh, we have already installed one virtual machine in our ESXi. So let me uh, access our VM in different page and try to understand about how to manage our uh, ESXi based virtual machine. So right click on your VM and click console. Just need to proceed with new step I, I want to open it in new page, basically new browser. So right click, select console and under the console, we are able to find a number of options. So need to proceed with second option, open console in new wizard, a new window. It gives you the complete detail related to the virtual machine only. So right now we are on page of virtual machines. So still it's uh, required few steps to complete the installation just need to proceed with the language and we also need to provide the basic uh, information like uh, the account detail and some uh, task related to the installation. Okay, so it will take time. So meanwhile, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to define the content that we need to uh, cover in case of virtual machine management. Fine, so in today's class, I'm going to describe about uh, uh, manage ESXi based ESXi VM, right? So in ESXi VM, we have already completed the task how to create VM and uh, how to install operating system in our uh, virtual machine. Now need to understand about the work of VMware tool. The first step to understand about the work of VMware tool, then configure hot plug. We'll try to understand about the meaning of hot plug. Then we'll discuss about few parts related to snapshot. And another important topic related to the virtual machine file. Because whenever we create a virtual machine on ESXi, uh, VMware will give you VMware give you a multiple files in the back end of our virtual machine. Fine. So first of all, we need to access our virtual machine's RDP and after that to start from scratch. Let's start to understand about the use of uh, VMware tool means why we need to install VMware tool on our uh, virtual machine of ESXi. So uh, try to understand about it. Basically, you know that whenever we purchase or assemble a computer, whenever we purchase a new laptop or assemble a new uh, desktop, so uh, we need to install few drivers, right? Like as uh, you must need to install your Wi-Fi driver, NIC card driver, sound driver, sometimes required to install the graphic driver as well. So VMware tool is a collection of driver, you can say that. Because you know that you are creating a new virtual machine. It's not a physical, but it also required to install the driver to perform the activity for your virtual machine. Without driver, you are unable to perform lots of tasks like as uh, you are unable to uh, access your virtual machine with the help of uh, keyboard properly. You are unable to use your keyboard. You are unable to use your mouse or touchpad if you are using laptop. So it's mandatory to install the VMware tool. And the uh, VMware tool can help you to manage the networking part as well. Means when, once you install the VMware tool, we are able to 
transfer the data between one virtual machine to another virtual machine or one physical machine to virtual machine as well. So it's mandatory to install the VMware tool to your virtual machine on your virtual machine, right? Fine, so it still is in progress. So once our VM is ready, I'll show you the step how you can configure the VMware tool. And uh, then after that, we'll need to proceed with hot plug. So as per the name suggests, basically, this is our virtual machine. And as you know that if you want to increase or decrease uh, configuration means if you want to uh, increase the RAM size or you want to change the CPU core, you want to add a hard drive to your virtual machine. So in this case, hot plug can help you. So basically, we are able to add new hard disk to your virtual machine without restarting or without stopping your virtual machine. It can work on the live environment. But if you want to increase the RAM size, if you want to change the CPU codes, so that time you must need to turn off your virtual machine. Then you are able to add the uh, uh, RAM or then you are able to add the CPU codes. But if you activated the hot plug to your virtual machine, so no matter your virtual machine is turned on or it's a running condition or live condition, so no need to um, stop your VM to add or uh, increase the capacity of your RAM and CPU. So hot plug is really important. As a, a VMware expert, you must need to know about the use of hot plug because it work. Um, you need to configure it while installation of your virtual machine because uh, once you transfer your virtual machine to client and client establish our entire environment, so client never give you um, means uh, credential to restart the virtual machine and stop the virtual machine, right? So hot plug is really important that can help you to uh, change the any configuration setting. Second is uh, third is important option or service related to the snapshot. So as per the name suggests, the snapshot is a types of uh, uh, you can say that backup process. Yes, we can say that it's a type of backup process with the help of a snapshot. We are able to create we are able to create the image of your virtual machine. Means it will capture the uh, current situation of your VM and put it into the data center. And whenever you feel you are facing problem with your virtual machine, you are unable to access your VM or uh, uh, you are unable to open the explorer of virtual machine so that time snapshot can help you last option is related to the vmware files so you can say that uh, these uh, multiple files will automatically create once you